The nor symbol is the same as a regular or with its output negated. The nor symbol uses the speed key nor, and it can be added to your program by expanding the conditional folder under logic symbols and then clicking and dragging the nor over to the detail view. So the nor has an expandable number of digital inputs and one digital output. The only way for the output of the nor to go high is if all of its inputs are low. Conversely, the output of the nor goes low if any of its inputs are high. Let's build an extremely short example program. I'm going to add one more nor and seven toggles. All of the toggles will have their clock inputs driven by the X panel. The outputs of the first two toggles will feed into the first NOR symbol, and the NOR's output will go back to the X panel. The outputs of all of the remaining toggles will feed into the second NOR, and its output will also feed back to the X panel. And that's literally all that there is. Let's compile and upload to our processor. All right, so when the program starts up, both of the NOR outputs are high because all of the inputs are low. But once any of the inputs is set high, we see the output of the NORs going low. And it doesn't matter how many or what combination of inputs I have that are high, as long as at least one input is high, the NORs output will be low. And if we make all of the inputs low, the NORs output will go back to high. So what you should know is that there's occasionally some confusion between the NOR and the NAND. To keep them straight, just remember that the NOR only has one condition that makes the output go high, and the NAND only has one condition that makes its output go low. Alright, well that wraps it up for this video. Thank you everyone for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.